Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking about API Postman. If you like this video, please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. Now let's get back to Postman. In this video you will learn about what is an API and how can we test it with Postman. Getting ready your workplace. Installing Postman. Getting familiarized with Postman. As an intro, Postman is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Postman is an easy tool to use and it is ideal for writing your own API. Most of modern software are built on API, as we said in the last video that we linked in the description box, or somewhere on the screen, about API Beginners Course, API stands for Application Programming Interface. API is a software-to-software -software interface, not a user interface. With APIs application talk to each other without any user knowledge or intervention. Implementing by writing function calls in the program. What is API testing? API testing uses software to send calls to the API and get the out. API testing treats the component under test as a black box. The goal of API testing is to verify correct performance and error handling of the component prior to its integration into application. To understand it, think about it as a waiter. The user requests from waiter, the waiter goes to the kitchen which stands for applications, the kitchen gives a response to the waiter which stands as an API, and user gets a response from the kitchen via API, waiter. REST, Representational State Transfer. It is a set of functions to which the developers perform requests and receive responses. In REST API interaction is made via HTTP protocol. REST also allows computer to talk to each other over a network. It involves using HTTP methods to send and receive messages and does not require a strict message definition unlike web services. REST messages often take the form of XML or JSON, JavaScript object notation. There are four commonly used methods for HTTP. GET, POST, PUT, DELETE. Let's take them apart. GET provides a read-only access to a resource. Post, used to update an existing resource or create a new resource. Put, used to create a new resource. Delete, used to remove a resource. The resource is the URL. Why use Postman? Accessibility to use Postman. One would just need to log in into their accounts making it easy to access files anytime, anywhere as long as a Postman application is installed on the computer. Use of collections, Postman lets users create collections for their API calls. Each collection can create subfolders and multiple requests. This helps in organizing your test suites. Collaboration, collection and environments can be imported or exported making easy to share files. A direct link can also be used to share collections. Creating environments, having multiple environments aids in less repetition of test as one can use the same collection, but for a different environment. This is where parameterization will take place, creation of tests, test checkpoints such as verifying for successful HTTP response status can be added to each API calls which help ensure test coverage. Automation testing, through the use of the collection runner or Newman, test can be run in a multiple iteration saving time for repetitive tests. Debugging, Postman console helps to check what data has been retrieved making it easy to debug tests. Continuous integration, with its ability to support continuous integration. Development practices are maintained. Downloading Postman. Go to the link in the description box below the video. After you choose your desired platform start downloading. After downloading, click run. Install is starting. In the next window, you need to sign up for a Postman account, you can log in with your Google account. Then, select the workspace tools you need and click Save My Preferences. You will see the startup screen. Understanding Postman tool. New. This is where you will create a new request, collection or environment. Import. This is used to import a collection or environment. There are options such as import from file, folder, link or paste raw text. Runner. Automation tests can be executed through the collection runner. Open new. Open a new tab, postman window or runner window by clicking this button. My workspace, you can create a new workspace individually or as a team. Invite. Collaborate on a workspace by inviting team members. 
History. Past requests that you have sent will be displayed in history. This make it easy to track actions that you have done. Collections. Organize your test suite by creating collections. Each collection may have subfolders and multiple requests. A request folder can also be duplicated as well. Request tab. This displays the title of the requests you are working on. By default, untitled request would be displayed for requests without titles. HTTP requests. Clicking this would display a drop-down list of a different request such as get. Post. Copy. Delete. In testing, the most commonly used requests are get and post. Request URL. Also known as an endpoint, this is where you will identify the link to where the API will communicate with. Save. If there are changes to a request, clicking save is a must so that new changes will not be lost or overwritten. Params. This is where you will write parameters needed for a request such as key values. Authorization. In order to access APIs, proper authorization is needed. It may be in the form of a username and password or bear a token. Headers. You can set headers such as content type JSON depending on the needs of the organization. Body. This is where one can customize details in a request commonly used in post request. Pre-requested script. These are scripts that will be executed before the request. Usually, pre-requested scripts for the setting environment are used to ensure that test will be run in the correct environment. Test. These are scripts executed during the request. It is important to have tests as it sets up checkpoints to verify if response status is OK, retrieve data is as expected and other tests. That's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.